Hey, I'm Brandon. I'm a software engineer. Uh, I love functional programming and static types. I work on a cryptocurrency called Coda. And basically, in my free time, I thought it would be cool to make a Game Boy emulator, uh, eventually Game Boy Color, in Rust and WebAssembly. Why? Well, uh, I want to learn Rust more um, and WebAssembly, I guess. Why Rust? You may have heard me tweet the following. Um, if I've talked to you in person before, you've probably heard me rant about this. It is short-sighted, unethical, and immoral to write C or C++ in 2018. If you need high-performance or low-level systems code, use Rust. So yeah, I'm a fan of Rust. Um, what do I know about Rust already? I used Rust in compilers class in school. Um, we were making a C compiler, and for the final project, you could like extend the language in some way. And we used Rust for our garbage collector. Um, that was like 0 0.6, so it's changed a lot since then. And that was basically entirely unsafe code. Additionally, um, uh, maybe in 2015, I, uh, I did what I called the fun parts of a torrent client in Rust, basically, um, the parser for like the weird encoding that BitTorrent files use. Um, and then I got to the point where, uh, the, all the IO needed to happen. And this was before Rust had a future type. Um, and it was just very messy and I, I was like, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> so I stopped. Um, and, you know, I've done small things here and there, but nothing big. Uh, and I figured this would be a cool project. And yeah, WebAssembly is a thing or whatever. Okay. Also, uh, it's Game Boy. Like, holy shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, I had a Game Boy when I was a kid and it was awesome. Um, specifically, I had a Game Boy Color. I got it when I was like five or maybe for my sixth birthday. Um, and you could not like take me away from this thing. Um, Pokemon Blue was my first game. I played it literally every second of every day. I maxed out the in-game timer quickly, probably. Um, but I, I remember reading like nine, 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 nine. Um, yeah, Pokemon Blue is the shit. Um, I don't know. I was obsessed with it. I played it all the time. Uh, the idea of you know this such a big project it's hard to like keep going on it you know um when you get stuck but uh being able to see like little bits of game boy stuff working i, I think is going to help me get through it yeah also uh i'm making a video series about it you are watching the first video in the series about it um uh you know maybe we'll twitch stream parts of it later but uh yeah, I figure, you know, is this a good medium for communicating shit to people? Um, do people care about it? Does it help me finish the project? These are all questions that will be answered, I guess. Okay, the plan. So, roughly, uh, the first thing we want to do is get the boot logo to animate down. It looks like this. Um, yeah. Uh, it's going to be amazing when that works. <laughs> um, then, uh, from what I've been reading, the first game that really makes sense um, to to get working is Dr. Mario. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, and then, and Tetris is also pretty simple, but maybe, you know, it's the thing you do after Dr. Mario. And then, uh, you know, then I don't know what we're going to do, but at some point we'll get Super Mario Land working. Um and then some point after that, we'll start doing Game Boy Color stuff and get Pokemon Blue working. Because, you know, Pokemon Blue is like the holy grail, you know? Um, and I know Pokemon Blue is a Game Boy game and not a Game Boy Color game, but I played it on a Game Boy Color. Um, so we got to get that shit working. Cool. And then, and then the plan for videos, um, I'm thinking like every X hours of work on the project where X is something that we'll refine, um, we should do it, uh, a video about it. Um, I'm always going to be recording my screen as I go. Uh, I, I missed a little bit in the beginning, maybe like three or four hours of work, but I think I have like 15 hours already recorded. So, um, it's going to be interesting editing that down. And then in the, in the videos, we'll talk about the progress and, and, you know, problems that I've run into. 
Uh, and we'll see how interesting that shit is. Okay, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, get excited. More videos are going to come soon. Get excited.